This is the opening to The Music Machine, David Szymanski's latest indie horror romp where the word of the day is simplicity. You play as Haley, or I guess Quentin, a ghost who is currently controlling Haley. As Quentin, you are trying to kill Haley and you decide to bring her to an island where there were recent unexplained deaths. And for the sake of the game, that's about as far as I'm going with the plot. The first thing that should jump out to many of you is the atmosphere. The game creates these beautiful yet haunting settings with only two colors. It's amazing what you can do with a little negative space. The soundtrack is sparse, but amazing when you get to hear it. The game uses the music to help create the chilling atmosphere, and not a thing to be tossed in the background. The game is mainly about exploration, the relationship between Quentin and Haley, and the mystery behind the mysterious deaths and all three of them flow nicely together. You must explore five areas to gather clues, items, and conversation prompts to figure out what the hell is going on here. This is a make or break for the game. In a nutshell, you walk around, read some notes, and listen to Quentin and Haley talk to each other. I found it to be engaging, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. And it's pretty short. Like, real short. Average playthrough, I think, is about two hours? But you can blast through this in like, 45 minutes. As a horror fan, I try to get my hands on many horror games as I can, which is a little problematic since 90% of horror developers think horror is jump scare after jump scare after fucking jump scare. And that's just flat out exhausting. It's not horror, it's an endurance trial. Szymanski sticks to his strengths with atmosphere and story, and I gotta say, it can get really creepy. In certain parts of the game, I felt incredibly unsettled by the strange foreign environments I found myself in. Other times, I was tense as fuck. The Music Machine is a perfect example of less is more. The game didn't need high-end graphics or highly complex mechanics to give me the heebie-jeebies. With a minimalistic aesthetic and simple gameplay, the Music Machine engages the player on an emotional level that many AAA games fail to achieve. If you're looking for a game with a compelling narrative, exploration, beautiful visuals, and horror without a single jump scare, then this may be up your alley. What do you folks think of The Music Machine? Let me know in the comments below. And for all your gaming needs, be sure to head over to shacknews.com.